and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. World Tourism Network applauds UNWTO call for peace and to suspend Russia. UNWTO Secretary General Polalikashvili called for Russia to be removed as a member of the World Tourism Organization today. Just on Thursday last week the World Tourism Network, WTN, called for a united voice and smart guidance for world peace. On February 16, the World Tourism Network reminded industry leaders and Global Tourism Resilience Day of its responsibility as a guardian of world peace on Global Resilience Day. This reminder was heard by UNWTO Secretary General Zarab Polalikashvili in Geneva, Switzerland last week, where UNWTO had concluded a week of meetings securing strong backing for its call to ease travel and enhancing strategic partnerships to define the future of tourism. UNWTO also emphasized that diplomacy is the only option to man-made problems and amplified tourism's voice for peace and international solidarity. UNWTO strongly condemned unilateral and unjustified acts of aggression and stands by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in his call for diplomacy to win out. UNWTO Secretary General Zarab Polalikashvili says, at a time where diplomacy has been abandoned, the values of tourism, a pillar of peace and solidarity, are more vital than ever. Jürgen Steinmetz, chairman of the World Tourism Network applauded UNWTO for its move and said, UNWTO recognized its special responsibility as tourism is seen as the guardian for world peace. We applaud the move by the Secretary General to agree with the World Tourism Network and the International Institute for Peace through Tourism, along with the World Association for Hospitality and Tourism Education Training, in our call for tourism leaders to speak with one voice on this issue. Expelling Russia from UNWTO is one strong symbolic option. After all, UNWTO represents the public sector. Therefore we applaud this gesture by the Secretary General. As a private sector network, however, the World Tourism Network is seeking communication with everyone. We are in the process to establish a Russian language chat group and will invite members of our sector in Russia and Ukraine to participate. World Tourism Organization. At the start of last week, UNWTO was welcomed to the headquarters of the World Health Organization, WHO, by its Director General Dr. Adenom Ghebreyesus. Together, the leaders of the two UN agencies agreed on the importance of lifting or easing travel restrictions wherever possible, citing their ineffectiveness and the economic and social cost of closing borders to tourists. UNWTO Secretary General Zarab Polalikashvili. Mr. Polalikashvili stressed that UNWTO is proud to work with WHO to restart tourism safely and responsibly for the benefit of many across the world. UNWTO and WHO agree on the need for a new trust architecture to restore confidence in travel and kickstart the sector's recovery. Aviation and Tourism Education Talks between Secretary General Polalikashvili and the Director General of the International Air Transport Association, IATA, Willie Walsh also focused on the collaboration towards the safe return of travel, highlighting the need for common rules and restoring trust. The official visit to Switzerland was an opportunity to advance several of UNWTO's strategic priorities, among them tourism jobs and education. The Secretary General and his team were welcomed to the Gillen Institute of Higher Education and the Hotel Institute Montreux, him by its Dean Ulrich of Bjorkland and to the new UNWTO International Center Switzerland at the Bella Vista Higher Education Campus in Altdorf. To advance plans to empower a new generation of tourism leaders, UNWTO met with the Swiss Education Group CEO Yang Shen and with Benoit Etienne Domingit, CEO of Summit Education, UNWTO's partner for online learning. Sports Tourism and Tourism and Rural Development in Nyon, an official visit to the headquarters of UEFA, Union of European Football Associations, saw Secretary General Polalikashvili enhance the ties between two of the world's biggest and most cross-cutting sectors. Alongside UEFA President Alexander Seferin, the two organizations agreed to work together to promote and grow sports tourism and build a joint legacy through empowering youth, starting at the UNWTO Global Youth Tourism Summit in August. 
The Secretary General visited Gruyeres, named one of the best tourism villages by UNWTO at the 24th General Assembly, where he commended the commitment to harnessing tourism to promote and protect its cultural and gastronomic heritage and support jobs and local businesses. Alongside the visit, a first to one of the best tourism villages, the UNWTO delegation also met with Eric Jakob, ambassador of the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs, SECO, whose brief includes tourism policy, as well as with Martin Nidiger, CEO of Switzerland Tourism. The meetings offered the UNWTO leadership a chance to welcome Switzerland's recent decision to lift almost all restrictions on incoming tourists, setting an example for other countries to follow. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.